All right, it's been a minute since I was streaming. Okay, so this video is gonna be a little bit different than others that I've posted on my channel because I'm actually doing this live on Twitch to start with. So I'm just gonna do a real quick rundown of the Kindle, uh, Kanji Eater Smart Japanese Kindle, what is it called? Kanji Eater Smart Japanese Kindle Highlights. There are a lot of different ways that you can add cards from your Kindle to Anki, but none of them really made it as easy as I thought it should be. Um, and then recently this month, Migaku also mentioned that they're going to do something kind of similar to the Fluent cards where it's going to use the vocab builder built-in uh, feature inside of Kindle. And then you're going to be able to export those in Anki. Well, a week after I made this a month ago, uh, I actually released this add-on uh, that does all of the things that I think it should be able to do. Uh, and that those things would be highlight the word that you actually care about and make sure that that's the vocab word on the card actually put the sentence on the card and then it would also be nice to have like some metadata of you know when and where did you read this thing so that's what i built um that is what's over here at kanji eater smart japanese kindle highlights uh if you download this add-on let's just walk through this download the add-on download the add-on put that in here the way you normally do inside of anki and then you'll have this after you restart, right? Because add-ons take a restart. Kanji Eater Smart Japanese Candle Highlights. Open that up. Inside of here, there's a couple real short, sweet settings. Uh, so the deck name of where I'm going to actually generate these cards inside the add-on. Um, it will make a different deck for every single book that you have. Uh, so I put it all inside my Kindle and then I have a nice deck with sub decks of books. Then uh, the last added, so it's actually going to keep track of when the last highlight you added was. So you can just keep plugging this thing in every day and it'll just keep adding only the newest cards. It's not going to add duplicates or something like that. Um, if you needed to add cards from yesterday again, like maybe you goofed something, I don't know. Um, then you can take it back a day, something like that. Uh, and then we have the path. So this path is just the path where your Kindle actually exists. So in my case, mine is um, my my H drive, right? So wherever it, it shows up on your computer, uh, make it the root path. I'm also expecting that most people are using Calibri or Caliber to manage their Kindle. So uh, that's that means it's going to it's going to put your books in a documents folder, and then the Kindle will put your clippings file inside of documents slash myclippings.txt. And then it's going to also rely that you haven't messed with some weird system thing. So like inside, there's actually a hidden folder inside that Kindle drive and it's going to have system vocabulary, vocab DB, and that's where it's going to pull sentences from. So then the sentence field. So this is where it will pull or put those sentences that it's pulled from, uh, from out of your Kindle and put them into an Anki card. So that's going to go into my expression field. And then it's going to say where and when I read it um, at the meta uh, piece here. And then finally, the word field is just the vocab word that you highlighted. It's going to be de-inflected and all that sort of thing um, because I'm only going to be supporting Japanese with uh, mine because that's what I'm specializing in. So that's where I'm going with this. All right. So that was the setup for it uh, pretty quick. And then let's take a look actually at the Kindle itself. All right. So I just want to highlight some words and then it will capture the word and the sentence and put that inside of a card. So I'm just going to highlight this word here. This is Kinpu, so highlight that. And then let's also get a conjugated verb, so furikai ta, and so it's furikairu, and then in the sentence it's only furikai, and then it only highlights up to the little two. And then highlight that, okay. So now I have two highlights, so what I'm expecting here is that when I plug this into my computer, it will automatically import the words and put them into appropriate cards when I either hit this menu item or when and it just automatically pops up uh, or when I hit the hotkey control K so go ahead and hit that and there we go so two new highlights imported and then it also keeps track of how many old ones you had in here um, the other one thing here is that bookmarks uh, also show up in your my clipping so it's gonna ignore those I have some from previous times when I tested this, but you should just end up having yep, those two things there. So Furikairu and 
this new one that I added. And you can see that it adds the de-inflected version, it adds the complete sentence, and then we have the metadata from where it came from. So this is what you highlighted, so you can double check that, that that still makes sense, and when I highlighted it. Uh, so that's all that I wanted to show off for this add-on. Uh, pretty quick video, like I said. Um, uh, other new things that are going to be coming, uh, I will be making something that automatically picks out the phrases from the sentences and then automates filling in the rest of those fields that you may have just seen on my card. Um, and then more Deep Weave podcast, I believe in two weeks, hopefully, we'll be doing an episode. And uh, this is Steven from the last episode that was really popular uh, is going to be joining us as a host, as a regular thing, hopefully. So uh, if you liked him, like his content, uh, there will be more of that. So thanks for hanging out and uh, checking out the uh, add-on. Please do like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.